<laughs> Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, did I see you at the antique store on um, yes, River, Water did. Street? I beeped like a half a mile down the road. Oh, well, that's that was me. That beep. <laughs> Water Street? Yeah, in Haverhill. Oh, okay. I'm like, He's never I think open. that was Terry. How are you doing, sir? Okay, and yourself? <clears throat> okay, now you can do your thing, I think. It's talking to my She's boss who's got, got a nine year old daughter who's. Wrong. On September, on September 12th, at 7.02 and 13 seconds, I call this meeting of the Conservation Commission to order. Second. Motion to open the meeting. Here. There we go, whatever it's called. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Ooh, I All right. I know. So that's, your, that's our stipends oh. at work. Special. It was just you that got one. Oh, you guys all got two. All right, let's cloud. see. Oh, what can we talk about? Well, well we've nice. got uh, number oh, yeah. number two, number three, four, and six are hearing, so we can't do those till seven thirty. Let's do two. <laughs> two. <laughs> two. <clears throat> oh, Tom's here. Tom, hey. awesome. Oh, look at this. Good guy. My goodness, oh. we just need do we, have enough, do we have enough chairs? <laughs> I know, I was well, just we do because <laughs> they bought new ones with our stipend. Okay. What's your name on the end? I don't recognize uh, oh. Oh. Here we go. No, every time you were here, I was here. And I used to. I used to being on Pretty much. I saw the email today. I'm like, whoa. Why don't we look at the minutes from the previous uh, yes. two yeah, meetings so. that are that were very, very succinctly dead. revised by Julie? <laughs> So. <clears throat> Do we have them? Wow, looks like we got yeah. them. Oh, there they are. <laughs> they're, they're both yep. No. Ooh. We need another agenda for Tom. Oh, sorry. Oh, here, he can have this one. Okay. Oh, hey, and Fred's here. Oh, my uh, God, it's everybody. Wow. <laughs> There's yeah. one for Fred. Here you go, Fred. <laughs> can, I come, can I go home now? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> wow, <laughs> this is be a first get one of those. Get one of those. <laughs> yeah. We'll move this is, over. This is a first in quite a while that everybody's. <laughs> you, you, can be, you can be the stealth <laughs> in the audience. Wow. It looks like you're recusing yourself. No, I'm just sitting here contemplating uh, a few thoughts. For you to say that, hey, I gotta get there. I'm gonna make four. I know we're gonna do it. Now I gotta leave. Wow. Everyone's here. I know. I'm just like, I don't know. Can you get Oh, don't oh. Me on, the head. <laughs> on camera. I'm glad the camera didn't catch Careful. that. Careful, we can't see those. <laughs> They're all set with those. Yeah. All right. We'll take a look at those. Yes, I don't think I was here for either one, right? No. Okay. You weren't here, Terry. Yeah, that's fine. Well, you know my village then. No, I'm good. Mm -hmm. I don't need okay. so those. August and what's the other one? August 8th July. and June 13th. Yep. We didn't have a July. Okay, we're review quickly reviewing the minutes from August 8th and Ju June 13th meetings. See if we can improve those. That's lovely. Hey, Rosemary. Mm -hmm. Do you have the map from the, the development up of Center Street? It's on the agenda. <coughs> oh, the map? You mean the... Well, I just, I just, I asked because I, I, um, I was, I was out on the meeting when it was discussed. I'm just... Um, curious what the whole thing looks like. I, I, the, um, I heard they got a cease and desist. <laughs> oh, I don't know about any of that. I'm just saying, I'm just curious what the whole thing looks like. That was, that was the scuttlebutt I heard outside. Oh, really? That's it. The whole thing. On which one? On Center Street. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, this one? Or no, the other I one? I think that's oh. the one. The Bauer and Dempsey need to talk to the abutters on the other part. Oh, sorry, was that on the list? The planning board shut somebody down in the next meeting. Must be that one, Atwood. So is that why they're filling up their tanks today? Or? I don't know. When did we get that job? <laughs> what? This, this was borrowed from somebody else. Oh, they never got one. Yeah, OK. They, I, they never submitted a. Um, they said they did, but. Nope. I never got it. This I got from uh, the big um, planning. I don't know the same. Yeah. Right, right. 
They don't have anything in the wetland? Oh, they do. Okay. How can we not have a plan? They were told by, I sent a memo oh. to the oh. planning board to oh. say that oh. Oh. we needed to, they needed to file, and they, they never did. And the last plan I have on file is five lots, not eight. There's rutlands over here, where? It was like, there's rutlands over mm -hmm. here, it was like two and or three properties rutlands over here. When they first yeah. initially oh, yeah. We the were like, yeah, we were going to tell the planning board that they, they need to file what's yeah, outside the two for these two, of the property. and they're definitely right. outside for those, but these the two definitely don't oh, okay. have a okay. <clears throat> okay. All right, so let's see. Um, so I'm Maybe waiting for um, someone to come in on uh, number five, yeah, so here. hopefully <clears throat> someone will be here soon. But if that, that? Is, is that the one that was shut down? I don't know for if sure. Tom, I'm sorry. He, he's waiting for somebody to come in on number five. That would have stayed. If somebody maybe. doesn't come in in the next 15 minutes, then I'll start on it. But I, I figured I'll wait until he comes in. Yeah, he wait till 7:30. If that was the one that was shut down, he may not be showing up. Well, yes, but well, he could have called me because yeah. he has my number. Could have. Could have, but you know. <laughs> anyway. He could have emailed you too, but you yeah, didn't respond to he him. could have done anything. Right. Erased everything that was. All right, so we'll go to conservation agent updates. That's you. Oh, that's me. Oh, okay. Um, all right, so we're not talking about this. Don't talk about any of these hearings. Don't talk about anything. Okay, fine. Um, well, then I don't have a lot to say. Tell us. Um, but I wanted to Ooh. let you guys know, well, no, that's coming in to, that's on the agenda. National Grid? National Grid. Okay, so he's coming in too, or supposedly he's in. Um, so, anyway, there's fall conference, so I made copies for you guys in case anybody's interested oh, yeah. in attending. So here's copies of the agenda and here's copies of the registration form. So you can, if anybody's interested, just grab one. And and, um, Lemonster? Oh, it's in the wilds of Lemonster, yeah. Wilds. The Route 2. Yeah. Got, is there enough? I can make more copies if not. And yes, DCR please. sent a thing in about um, their forest cutting practices in case anybody's interested uh, in getting cutting. extra. Yeah, forest cutting. Yeah. Is that related to town forest or just general? No, just general forests. Well, they updated their regulations. Thank you. Right. So, um, <coughs> other than that, um, I don't have a lot. I can't talk about that. How about 929 Salem? Nothing's been going on that I've seen there. Cool. Cars are still parked there. Yeah, that's it. But nobody's ever there. Nobody's Sorry. ever at 929. Shape out of shape, yeah. 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 Um, Mike and I did take a walk out to uh, the firing range, and we went to see what they were doing with the, um, cool. oh, the, bank. the the pile out back. That you know they're removing all the gravel and everything cool. out in back. Yeah, yeah. So oh, the gravel removal project. They pretty much stopped the gravel removal, but yeah, now they're the taking the all of the um, the mulch and the, the topsoil out of there now so there's from the piles yeah the piles as soon as you go through the gate not the first gate but the second gate there's a big piles of loom and okay so not the actual firing <laughs> range yeah. no no the so mountains. we walked out to <laughs> just see what they were doing and they had extended the road that they had put in um, into the actual place for the firing range oh okay so now there's like a road in there Like paved. No, it's that material. Oh, that right. They, you, were you out there and mm -hmm. you saw how it's like a compressed sort yes. of type of material? So, yeah, that's, that's out there. Okay. I have a to do item to contact Natural Heritage to find out what's going on because we never heard from Natural no. Heritage nope. what they told them. Right. They never, we never heard any more from them. So, anyway, that's pretty much <coughs> it for me. Um, Couple of questions, uh, Rosemary. Yep. So, the from our last meeting, um, 
Homestead Lane, GRDA, there was a letter permit due, right? We sent that. Yep, we sent that letter out to him. And for um, 23 School Street, GRDA, that was another letter permit. Yep, that we went did that too. one, right? Yep, those are gone. Okay, and let's see. Uh, 194 Seven Star Road, the replacement septic system, the GNOI. Oh, well, they, their, their order of conditions went out. Yeah. That's it. So we sent yep. out the permit. Yes. And yep. permit sent. That was, a, that was not a DEP filing. That was just a local filing, Correct. right? Yeah. Yes. So yep. all three of so those things were just local. And um, the certificate of compliance went out for um, 20 transit. <coughs> okay. I finally got the last signature, so I yep. I could mail that out. Okay. So that went out this week. And how are you doing on getting signatures? Mixed results? Yes. <laughs> so give us a scolding on that. I'm here on Friday, so if you need anything on Friday. All right. Well, if I need Every to, Friday? No. Oh. But many Fridays. Many Fridays? <laughs> All right. Well, I'm not here on Fridays, but I can leave it because now there's somebody in the office because we have the planner is here now. So the office is open and town well, hall we have is keys, don't we? The town hall is open anyway. So yeah. until no. Yeah. Just email me if you ever need signature. <coughs> well email. the last time that's what I do usually yeah. is just email everybody, but well not everybody has come in to sign. In reality I think that we're doing a better job than we have done in the past about getting these things out because you're writing them up the and then it's just you know, we're, you're writing them up immediately after, um, you know, we, like, you'll write up anything tonight, start doing it tomorrow, Correct. and then, you know, so we're getting them out within 21 days, I Oh, think. definitely, yeah. yeah which is the requirement, right. so. Right, they're definitely going out on a, you know, within the time frame. It's yep. just that, you know, sometimes it takes a little bit longer to get signatures in. So. Yep. And one other question I had is um, in this email uh, from oh, yeah, Terry, he said, did we approve work on Rollins just before Center Street? Looks like someone's putting a driveway right by the wetlands. No. I didn't. I don't remember it. Yeah, I don't remember that. That either. was from an email Terry sent no, on. No, the work. Oh. So, but have you gone and take a look at that? No, I don't recall. What was that, Terry? I don't know. I, I still don't know. All right. Um, I mean, it's all it's all torn up. It's about well, a. Well, I'll take a ride out there tomorrow. Yeah. You know, it's Rollins. actually on Rollins. <coughs> it's on Rollins just before you get to that little, the little hill before uh, uh, Center Street. <coughs> on the right hand side. Right hand side. Okay. All right. So. You'll take a look at that. Yeah, sorry. Oh, that's okay. I do that every day, all the time. And the work that um, Larry Kelly did on uh, uh, the Gorski property on Washington looks pretty good. Oh. Um, there's been a fair amount of rain uh, recently. Yeah. And that was, that was coming into the road. Not a big problem. Most of the time in the winter, it gets icy, of course, and somebody's going to end up in the Johnson's, uh, the lily pond free Johnson's <laughs> pond. <laughs> <coughs> It'll be easier to get them out because. <laughs> That's true, they won't get tangled. Get yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. So you're saying that. Uh, that it looks good so far. Gorski's, it looks <coughs> like it's solved. It looks good solved. so far. I, well, let's, let's not say solved. No, it's, but it, that's better than it's <coughs> ever oh, it's been. Way, it's, it's, the best, it's the best it's looked in awesome. years. Awesome. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, so he did, he did a nice job there. All right. Uh, so Rosemary will check out Rollins. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I think we're ready to go to number five. So I just want to give you a little explanation of this. Um, and then we have the developer here to talk to us a little bit more about it. So. Um, <coughs> 
on August 14th, I rode by Center Street and noticed uh, the work being done uh, there across the street from Dunn's. So I stopped and talked to somebody on site who put me in touch with uh, the developer and I spoke to him on the phone. We met, I came back and did another site visit and we talked more about it. Um, so it seems that <clears throat> We were not notified by the planning board for some reason, uh, and there was no project review meeting by the building inspector on the project. So neither one of those things. And the uh, developer got the okay from the planning board to move ahead, which they did. And um, so that was explained to me, and um, I asked him to come in tonight because previously we had asked uh, the owners of the property to file a GRDA for the property because there's wetlands in the seem to be jurisdictional wetlands on either corner of the property along Center Street and when they came in back in March, I think that was, looking for <coughs> five houses, we asked that, that they file for at least two of the lots that we felt were jurisdictional. So that's kind of the, the back story of this whole thing. Now I'm going to turn it over to the developer, Mr. Couillard, and he's going to kind of explain to us what's going on. Oh, I am, huh? <laughs> Hopefully. I gave you the... Um, yeah, thanks. Um, so Mike, Mike's basically right. Um, I didn't, when I, I purchased the subdivision, I purchased it from um, Christensen and Sergi, and they were the engineers that got the whole thing approved. So I guess there's an issue between planning and you guys, but I do have some documentation where, so I guess the planning regs require the planning board get 12 copies of every plan submitted and they're supposed to distribute it to all departments so I went back and watched the meeting and they actually made Phil do that they said oh no you do that and Phil said well it's in your regs that you're supposed to do that but if you guys want me to take that on I'll take that on so uh, I have a letter from Christensen that went out to they went and picked up the 12 copies of the secretary at Christensen, who I talked to personally, went out and picked up the 12 copies of the plan and distributed them to everybody on the list, including ComCom. Where she left that, I don't know. Who it got to, I don't know. But they're, they're saying, Christensen and Sergi is saying, that they delivered it to you guys. You were notified and you were never mentioned. Yeah. So the, what you were talking about, Mike, was the original plan that Christensen and Sergi wanted to build on that parcel, it's a 10 acre parcel, was um, five form A lots, which is lots that would all front, right on Center Street, and the back would be open, <coughs> and they wanted to harvest all the sand out of there. As you guys know, it's a sand pit there. It's, it's, a, it's like 20 feet deep of legitimate, like beach sand, septic sand. If you've anyone driven by it, you've seen the piles. So the um, planning board, didn't want to do that. So then he switched and he went to the plan that we have today that I'm developing, the eight lot subdivision, where only about, the, the, there was about an excess of about 150,000 cubic yards of sand that they wanted to harvest out and build five lots. The planning board said no. They changed the plan to this eight lot subdivision where only about 25,000 cubic yards of sand are gonna be removed from the site just to build the roadway and the houses. So uh, what I did after, or I talked to Mike originally, <coughs> he voiced his concerns. Um, I was told on many occasions there were no uh, jurisdictional wetlands in the, in, on the site or in the area. So when Mike brought it to my attention, I went down and talked to Phil Christensen. He created this plan for me and I had this the last time I met Mike out there. I didn't realize when Mike called me, I'm like, Mike, there's a, the, Chesterton's back there, and a, a woman with a pool. There's no wetlands back there. He says, no, no, no. I'm talking about across Center Street. And I was like, oh, all right. I didn't really look over there. I, I, I didn't know. So 
So this is a plan that Christensen and Sergi created for Mike and I for talking points. And um, you can see here that, and this is off of the uh, GIS mapping, uh, just to, so that we get an idea of what we're talking about. Over here appears to be like way out of, you know, my nearest work is here. My, my uh, straw line here and limit of clearing is here. And we're, it looks like we're roughly 360 feet and 142 feet from the roadway. But on this corner, we're closer. This one, it looks like this is my, my, my limit of clearing. And the only reason I have to clear there is because the water department wanted me to loop, loop the water line. So instead of just the water line coming in and dead ended, they want to loop it any chance they have. So we're going to run the water line through here and up this easement into here and then back around so the water line loops. But the house is way up here. The house is, you know, 200 feet. Any, any grading or site work is well over 100 feet. It's 130, 140 feet. And with the roadway and the topography and the site being all sand, like we had, how much rain did we have the other day? It's like, I've never seen anything like it in, in working in construction my whole life. It just goes right into the ground. I mean, there's no water. It literally just gets absorbed like a sponge. So there's, there's literally no runoff. <coughs> if there were, this, is, this all puddles over here, and the topography goes up to Center Street and then back down to this wetland. So almost impossible for any silt or anything for my project to uh, wander off into that uh, jurisdictional wetlands over here. Mm -hmm. Didn't you put some erosion control? I did. Mike, after it, you know, I just had the straw waddle along here, and Mike came on voice some concerns. I said, Mike, I'll, I'll, I'll put up hay bale and silt fence all around here, which I did. I put up a couple hundred feet of hay bale and silt fence from over here all the way over to here, <coughs> just as a precautionary measure. When was that installed, the hay bales? Yesterday. All oh, right. Was it yesterday? Or this, it might have been this morning. Of course, you know, I told the. Uh, Unit construction that I had a conservation meeting on the 12th, so it went in on the 12th. And stuff. <laughs> I was on a couple of times to try and. But you did, after we spoke, didn't you also put in the waddle, extended the waddle? No. No? No, the waddle was. You had that there already? <laughs> yeah, it was original to the plan. And um, sure. everything inside the waddle was to be taken out. It's a 10 acre site, so four and a half acres. Um, is going to be left uh, uh, the way you see it now untouched and five and a half acres had to be cleared for the, the roadway and the septic system in the home. Did, did you walk the site, Mike? Is there any potential wetlands anywhere else? No. Uh, Doesn't Chesterton <coughs> sit on wetlands? Yeah, but that's further down. Further down on Center Street. It's There's right nothing on that side. It, it's further down, on, but it is right it's on Center Street. The street. Hmm? It's uphill to the street. It's uphill to the street. Yeah. Mike, are you in agreement? It's only on the one side. Well, yes. You know, based on this, um, when Rosemary and I went out, when was that? Like in March or something? Yes. Yeah. It was. It was in the early springtime. We, we estimated where the edge of the wetlands were, and in both the right side and the left side, we felt that it could be jurisdictional. Correct. And that's why we recommended that a GRDA, for a GRDA, all you're doing is tell me, <clears throat> is this jurisdictional or not? Right. And then what am I gonna have to do if it is? And so, that was the memo that I sent to the planning board saying yes. that they were to come in before the Conservation Commission to say whether or not it was jurisdictional and nobody ever came before the Conservation Commission. Right. The, right. the planning board directed the chair to instruct their peer review, uh, Phil Henry, to uh, talk to you guys and tell you basically that if you watch it, you, I love this, if, if you watch the video, <laughs> he, he says, uh, they say, well, send them a, tell John Henry that they know, they, they knew that he reviewed it and he had told Christensen, yes, you're completely in the clear, there's no wetlands. And they instructed him to send a letter to you guys to that effect. And I only know this from reviewing the tapes, but uh, I don't know if that ever got sent. No. Uh, maybe it did or maybe it didn't. <laughs> we don't think so. I wasn't. We can't find no, it. No, there's yeah, nothing that I was sent. That. Nope. Yeah. So, um, 
I, I think I have to talk to him uh, sometime next week. I can, when I see him, I can, I can ask him about it because I, I know that the board, I saw them on the tape say, let's send a meeting to, let's send a letter to Henry to make sure he takes care of conservation and tells them that, you know, it's his opinion, there's no jurisdiction. Yeah. Yeah. So I would say the only, from looking at that map, then the only jurisdiction is on that far. Well, it's 100, it's 124 feet away. Where's the water line going in? Well, it's going to the road, but the town is doing that. Um, then the, it Bob still Bob needs Bob to be. Well, yeah, the town. Well, that's not you. No, yeah, that's the town. The town. Doing the he knows that. I, yeah, I, yeah. I talked to Bob yep. last week. Yep. I told him, I've been talking to Mike. He said, listen, you know, when you put that water. So, as part of the. So, what you're saying is you've got nothing to file? I've got nothing to file. Okay. But after, after when, when they put that water line in, um, we're going to help them load. He wants to lower the roadway. So we're going to help him, and we're uh, obligated to give him the equipment he needs to do the work to lower the road and remove whatever material he wants out of it. So you're going to do the work or give him the equipment? We're going to... Sean's personnel gonna, and... Personnel and equipment. Okay. Sean's going to do it for the town of Groveland, and over under uh, Bob's supervision, and the town's going to pave it. It's their responsibility. They want to uh, lower the road and replace that water. Yeah. So that's the, the hump in the road right when you get around yes. that corner? Yeah. So he's going to be within 100 feet. He's oh, yeah. Right. But that's, oh, yeah. His, that's his issue. No, no, I know. I'm he's going like, to be about 90 feet. And when is that work supposed to take place? It'll probably be in the next couple months. So during the seasonal restriction? Well, maybe. No, but well, it could. They could <coughs> get it in before then. They could. Well, he said the next couple happen. of months, November's. Yeah. They're going to have it. to file. He's going to have to file quickly then if yeah. he's going to get in front of us. Clock's ticking. He hasn't mentioned that to us, but as but you that's see, not your problem. well, I mean, I want to help coordinate. I did, <laughs> oh. I did talk to him about it and let him know that look, you know, with this water main thing you want me to help you with, it, it looks like you're going to be around 90 feet, and Tom's going to want you to file. Yeah. That was Bob Arakalian, yeah. not the water department. No, that wasn't the water department. Okay. That, was, that was Bob. All right. He's lowering the road. Yeah. All right. So. Um, so are we in agreement that uh, Mr. Couillard is uh, in compliance? Can we get a letter from the peer review that says that? Well, yeah, I mean, it's we'd like, like to get like that. No, no, I, under, I, I understand, that's what I mean. From I that letter from Phil Henry that says. Right, on behalf of the town, representing the town, he's reviewed it and he Yes. It's in the clear. Right. It's not, that was no, that's not your. Yeah. Right, that's you guys sent a letter to. I will right. communicate with so the planning met, board. Have you met Rebecca? Hmm? Oh, have yeah. Met Rebecca? Yeah. She's, it's only two weeks. Uh, she was, she's been very helpful already. Yes. So I think that you could easily coordinate. She actually knows how to open and read an email. Yeah. So it's very helpful. <laughs> so. So, <laughs> so uh, I think you can coordinate with her easily, and if there's a document to be had, I, I think she could get it for you. Yeah. Then you're leaving uh, this with us? If you want, you can have it. Yeah. Sure. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go. Yes, I'd like to add it to the file so I can have it. Just in case we get questions, we can. Yeah, that's fine with me. Yep, that's fine. <coughs> I just brought it for the purpose of the discussion. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, thank you. All right. So I guess we're all set. Excellent. Thank you for Thank coming you in. Right. I don't know, I might have to be back to the top or whatever to get that water main in, but yeah. if I do anything. Well, we'll talk, I'm so going to talk to him this, one this week and see what the, the one. yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to be working, so, <laughs> yeah. you know, I was asking about this, who's taking it? He's like, I don't know. I go, well, what am I going to do? Because I don't know. So, one way or another, we'll get that straight. Yeah, all right, Thank you. If they're actually lowering the word, Huh? If they're actually lowering the road, then that works against the whole yeah, idea no, that the pitch is going the I know, wrong right. direction. Right. Well, that doesn't mean that they're lowering it so much that... No, I know. I don't know how far they're doing it, though. I mean, it's just a yeah. consideration yeah, we're going to have to have. We, we, want, we want to have a look at that. Yeah. Because <clears throat> if, if it's going to drain all of a sudden... Yeah. Yeah. we got a different... All right. right. Okay. All right. So, Check. let's see. We've got three hearings. Yeah. No, they're not saying what the um, scale oh, is. You'll have to. Uh, no let's scale. approve the minutes to get that done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's still hanging out there. <laughs> have to. I mean, you could probably figure it out if I go. Mike, let's get one of the old minutes. Yeah, we right. started the minutes. All right. So we can just get them out. Yeah. Make a motion on that. Sorry, yeah. 
Um, give me the minutes so that I can read what they are. <laughs> All right. Has anyone suggested any changes to the minutes? Everybody happy with the minutes? Terry doesn't have it. No. Okay, Tom I'm going to make a understand. motion to approve the June 13th conservation um, meeting minutes. Second. As submitted. As submitted. Uh, is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain. Opposed? Abstain. I think. Abstain. Oh, one apps, two. Two, 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 abstains. two abstains. Yeah, That's sorry about that. I'm signing this one right? Or are you? Mm, June. June. You because it just happened? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and I make a motion to approve the August 8th, 2018 conservation minutes. Second. As submitted. As submitted, John. <laughs> Second. Pass that, John. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Opposed? Abstain. Yeah. Abstain. Oh, one, oh, two. Two. Huh? two abstains. Did you abstain? No, I didn't abstain. Oh, right. sure. Oh, because you were here. Yeah. I was here. <laughs> yeah. I had to look. June, I wasn't here. Yeah. Yeah. Same on, on that one. Yes. Okay. So, so June is a process. Are you taking notes? Yeah. I'm taking I'm notes. Part of that oh, good. I wasn't, I didn't know what the minutes were. I didn't know what okay, so we've done the commissioner's time. I we've done old business good. items. No, we haven't no, done. No. Uh, did conservation agent. We're yeah. going into the hearings. There we go. Sorry. But I have an old business item after that. Then we got to do old business and commissioners time. Okay. All right. So let's see. We've got three hearings: 206 Center, National Grid, and 21 Wood Street. So. And he was here first. Bill is here for 21 Woods. Jim is here for 206 Center. He's for us on the list. Oh. That we don't go by that. No, you don't. no. so you were here first. It's the first person that shows up. <laughs> no pressure. You guys did that on purpose, didn't you? <laughs> 21 Wood Street, which is a septic repair. All right, so I'm going to make a motion that we uh, open. This hearing period Thank you. Yep. Thank at 7:35 for the three hearings that we're having tonight. Second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. And you're doing that for all three of them. Yeah. Correct? So we don't have okay. to do it for each one. Right. Okay. So the house is Wood Street on top of the plan, and the wetlands are in the back of the property. We're flagged by um, Julie Wondrak. <laughs> on the plan. Um, and the 175 foot buffers here and the 100 foot buffers here. The house is right here. The old septic system was right in this area. The tank is where the same tank, we put the tank back in the same spot, tying into the same line. Mm. And we did two test pits down here. Actually, um, Alex Parker was the agent who did them. I mean, the uh, soil valley who did them. So, uh, <coughs> Mr. Ogden was the owner. And we, we have a Presby system design, which is a Alternative system which pre treats the effluent and gets a reduction in size. Uh, you can see the conventional size is outlined in the dash line. It says conventional SAS. You have to show the conventional, but then we can put a smaller system in, which is a, the alternative, uh, which treats it better and makes it a little smaller. We do have a grading we have to do to make t maintain the uh, setback to the breakout. And um, we have a high water table, unfortunately, with very high water table 18 and 21. So it's raised up a bit. Um, so we do the grading back down. We're in the buffer zone by about 15 feet in this location, and then maybe seven or eight feet over here. And we're showing the hay bales uh, around the limit of the work. So it's just limited to grading. This whole system is outside of the buffer by 123 feet. <laughs> but we do have to get grading to keep it. And what vegetation is, is, it doesn't look, it's just like brush, uh, it's not really. Tree line here, tree line right through here, so we're at the very edge of the tree line with the grading. Um, I don't know if there'll be any trees taken down in that, uh, that area. It's, um, we're at the very edge, because there's a shed here, and there's lawn basically behind when they did the first test. Uh, with the grading, we're tailing it off, so it's very limited grading down, just, just inside the tree line by about 10 feet, so. Right. Mm -hmm. I imagine there won't be anything big. I guess take down. They could weld it up if they had to, I suppose. Um, so it's basically limited to grading to make the uh, breakout. 
uh, elevation and then put the solar panel three to one. So you're grading it down from the 138 to? Yep, to, to 130. Okay. <clears throat> That's a three to one. This is 15 feet out, then we go three to one down. Okay. This is a five to tile five. Okay, so they're almost right where they where they exist and there's when they're done yep. with it. Do we have any concerns? Do you know when they're going to do this? Is it um, in failure or is it? It's failed. Yep. Okay. <laughs> and he's broken in the house right now, so I assume he'll be doing it before November 1st. I think he's going to try to beat that date. Yes. <laughs> Are there any erosion controls that are marked on that? Yep, yep. they have pay bill and silt fence, 170 linear feet. I didn't turn any conservation markers, but I don't think Jay would be opposed if you wanted a couple on, on the line somewhere. We don't need to put them in for an existing system, only brand new stuff. So it's pretty straightforward. <coughs> Did you go take a look at this? Yeah, yeah. I met Jay out there and Julie out there in the pouring rain. Okay, so, so we walked the line. What do you think? It was fine. He knew, I told Jay to come in with a um, request for determination only because of the grading. Yeah. Everything else is outside yeah. yep. of the hundred yep. foot. So, <coughs> but yeah, we walked the whole line of um, where she had delineated the wetlands. So. And minimal, minimal trees. It's pretty open right there, um, where they're proposing the <coughs> septic system. It's that it's the log cabin. Oh, okay. on, do you know the log cabin on Wood Street before you get up to Town Forest? It's on the right hand side before the curve. Mm. That's where this house is. That's that. <coughs> so it's a repair to an existing house. But yeah, it kind of is, except for all the junk that's yeah. out there. But there's, it's pretty open. I think it's cleaned up now. Oh, I have been out there. I'll have to go check it out. He's working on the house inside right now. Okay. The yard's been cleaned up. The has been cleaned up. Yeah. Yeah. We, you were out there too, weren't you? We went out there oh, yeah. initially, but then I went back out to check. Yeah, it out. I haven't seen it. I rode by. I've ridden by it a couple of times, but I didn't really wasn't looking at the septic system. Yep. Yeah. No, the the line was fine, and it's <coughs> pretty open. The tree line is down into where the wetlands are. So. Yes. Okay. But you saw no issue with the grading that was going to nope. cause any no. sort of issues? No, nope. okay. no, nope. I have the... I believe it has been approved by the Board of Health. So. Yeah, I have the information. He submitted the plans to me, so... Okay. Yeah. Someone want to make a motion Motion to accept the plan as proposed. Second. Any further discussion on it? Seeing none, we'll take a vote then. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain. Okay. Thank you. Do we have one? Of Thank these? you for coming. Yes. Yep. yep. I have one. Gonna, well, I don't want one, so. <laughs> 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 no, we have, we, I have it in the file. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Next. That'll just be a, a letter permit. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> just a letter. Thanks, Jim. Yeah, thank you. And this is 206 Center Street. Okay. No, they're replacing the septic system. Yeah, probably. Yeah, no, that's fine. Thanks, Jim. <laughs> Good evening. For the record, my name is Jim Scanlon. I'm here on behalf of Susan Sawyer at 206 Center Street. Um, go on. Can I stop you there? Oh. I need to recuse myself. You too? Yeah. Are you going to butter? I know her oh, personally. I'm going to butter. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that was her address. Sorry. So just make well, a note in the minutes, Julie, that Tom yeah, and it. Heather have recused okay. themselves and went to I'm sit in the you. audience. They should go sit in their cars just to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry, Jim. No, go ahead. That's fine. Um, the, you we're here as part of a septic system upgrade. Uh, there's an existing three-bedroom dwelling, shown here in brown. Um, there are wetlands, shown here in green, with a 25-foot, 50-foot, and 100-foot buffer zones. The existing system, which is in failure, uh, is a septic tank and two 
leach pits. Uh, the exact location of the leach pit, or at least this leach pit, is somewhat unknown because of it's underneath the pole patio. Oh. So it, um, we weren't able to get an exact location, but um, based on uh, a prior Title V inspection in that area. We're proposing a new system uh, that includes a, a septic tank pump vault uh, and a water biofilter, which is a, um, a pretreatment unit, secondary treatment unit, uh, and then a uh, leach field uh, shown here in yellow. Um, we are approximately 36 feet at the closest point to the leach area. Um, this is really the only area that we were able to find uh, with soil testing. We came back here and uh, it was shallow ledge. It was a shallow ledge in here. It was ledge outcrops here and it was a huge uh, ledge outcrop here. Um, obviously the pool area. Um, so this is really the only area that we had that had close to the required 48 inches of naturally occurring pervious material, which is required by Title V. Um, there is one, or I guess it's a double tree, but there's one double tree located right here, which will have to come down. One tree? Yeah, it, it's a, <clears throat> I guess it's two trees, you know, that are... Is it hardwood or is it pine or what is it? Uh, it's hardwood. Okay. If it's hardwood. Um, That's okay. Yeah, I'm just asking. Yeah, yeah. But I, it, it, I believe it is a hardwood tree. Um, I just don't remember what kind. Um, let's see. So uh, the grading will go to just about the 25 foot set back to the wetlands. Um, and again, I, as I said, the, the system is 36 feet at the nearest point. Have you looked at it? Yes, I went out there. I walked around. There, there really is no other point. Um, for I was going to say, put it in. if they've got shale on both sides, it's there's a swimming sledge. pool over there. There's, I could see there's a huge ledge outcrop. Right. Um, yeah. So, but walking out back there, yeah, there's he's really kind of stuck to where it can go. If he goes back any farther, you're closer to wetlands. Um, so we actually did do a test pit back here, and, and we had. Uh, 20 inches of soil before we get to that uh, glacier. <coughs> glacier didn't do them any favors. <laughs> no, definitely not. And there's no, it's not like a huge wooded area. It's just, no, it's, it's, all, it's all lawn. Okay. Back in, in back. This there. is the tree line here, this yeah. curly yep. line. And aside from that, there's a um, retaining wall of railroad, you know, six yeah. by six yeah. uh, that comes. <coughs> Like that, and then this is all just open wall. Oh. Okay, so they put in the retaining wall when they put the pool in. I think. Yeah. 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 Okay. But there's nothing here right now except for this right here. That one tank right. There's nothing here currently. It, it, right. This tank, and then this is just lawn. Uh, okay. Slope down. Yep. Okay. That does kind of go uphill in the back. Okay. Yeah. And what are you proposing for erosion controls? Uh, right here in the red, um, and it will act, you know, uh, right out to the street. So and those are at the uh, 25, is that 25? 25, yes. Um, we're tied up against the property line here because this is really the only access for the equipment. <coughs> about 15 feet there. All right, so to summarize, are there aren't any alternatives, and they've got erosion controls, and I move to accept the plans as proposed. <coughs> Is there a second? I Fred. second. Okay, Fred, second. Do um, we care about the erosion control that, or sorry, yeah, the erosion control that he's going to be putting there? Well, now we're giving people the choice of okay. either the wattle type or, you That's know, something. straw bales. Okay. Either I, one. Um, straw bales. I'm, you know, again, we'll, whatever you want. I was proposing the, the uh, eight inch watt straw water. Yeah, that's it's fine. Okay. Seems yeah. like that goes in yeah. here and comes out. Yeah. So, Jim, yeah. did you get me a plan showing where the erosion control is going? 
on it because I don't think you put yep. it on this one. Oh. But show me if I missed it. Yeah. Right, right up. Oh, okay. All right. right up so I see. Into right. The, the, the so wall. this is the, that's where it's going. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Thank you. Yep. And the proposed. Looking for the date for it? Right away. They're planning to do it right away. Uh, yeah, I mean, they warming up the machines. Yeah, not here. Really want to. Right. August 20th. It's the house is sold and they're just waiting. Okay, okay. so before, before November 1st, though, so should be. Maps and such. Oh, yes. Completed. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> okay. And did we want any pre inspection stuff or are we. I love my mapping compass. You can inspect the obvious. What? Pre-construction. Yeah. Oh yeah. Go. We all would always put oh, that be boilerplate. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that way, there we can coordinate yeah, with whoever's doing the work, just to make sure. So close. Right. Double up on it. Right. Okay. I would set a limit in cable. So you made a motion. I made a motion. It's been seconded. Yeah. Okay. There's been some discussion. So, is there any further discussion well, on this? So, I just want to ask Rosemary. So make sure that we've got, you know, pretty much the standard. Notice of intent with the yep. pre-construction meeting, and yep. they can't start it until the pre-construction yeah. meeting. Okay. You know, no work will be done at all on the site until the pre-construction meeting. Okay. Any abutters want to comment? <laughs> no, <not>. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, hearing second. no more yep. uh, comments, we'll vote. Um, all in favor of uh, the plan as submitted. Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Unanimous. Five, zero. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, right. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Jim. Thank you. Thank you. Jim. You guys redoing American Gothic over there? Come on, let's go. Back to the party. Is it safe to come back? Yes, it's safe. I'm going to use yourself. Okay. The Thank next you. thing. Good thing we have so many people here. I know. <laughs> no kidding. That was really good. Sorry. I didn't know that was good. <clears throat> well, the next thing is a request here. for a seasonal restriction waiver from National Grid. Where are they? Well, they're not here for that. I don't think they're required, are they? No. But I it, do you have a letter from them or something? No. So, drive down already. Okay. When, I, when I spoke to them, that's why I brought what they had proposed before. Um, when I spoke to him, I had told him that in order for them to do any work in the seasonal restriction, they needed to submit a letter saying what dates that they were planning to do this work. Yes. And so he asked me, you know, how specific it had to be. And I said, well, I need some sort of a, you know, like how many days is it going to take? Uh, what days you plan on, on actually doing the work? But we'll give you some leeway as far as you know, like if you say it's, you know, Monday through Friday or something because you want to make, you know, take into account if there's rain or a bad day or something like that. Yeah. So I asked them to submit that because I told them there was also a fee and that they would have to submit information so that the commissioners could then devise what it was going to cost for them to be able to work within the seasonal restriction, but I never heard back from them. <laughs> oh, well. We spoke on the phone a couple of times. He asked for clarification. I, that's pretty much what I told him, and that was the last time I spoke to him. And I told Can him that there was a meeting tonight, and he said, "Okay, fine." He'd get everything into me, and then I never did. So we have plenty of time before the seasonal yes. restriction yeah. begins. That so that if we correct. want to adjourn this until next well, we only, time, we only have one more meeting between now and then. Yeah, Co correct. But at least I mean, we will give him an opportunity <coughs> to yeah. present what he needs, so that we have more information. Right. I, mean, I feel they, comfortable they, with that. Yeah. They might want. They might want to. They may only want to do it in like January or something. Anyways. I think that was what they their plan was. They wanted to do it mm -hmm. on an off season so that right. they could come in. And so he had actually said like some maybe December they were yeah. thinking of doing. They, it. They've done it. Do we have the way we file it? Can we look up the national grid stuff because we've done this before with them? We got to have all that history. That they did not ask for seasonal restriction before. I don't I think have they, oh, they have. They, they have. have. Yeah. Well, I, no, Maybe well, before your time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, they okay. definitely have. This is not okay. unusual. I'll go back Who? and I'll look, but they, I don't have, they've, since I've been here, they've applied, what, I think mm -hmm. three mm -hmm. times mm -hmm. for yeah. certain yeah. things for them yeah. to do, yeah. but and those other offices. times they never applied for a seasonal restriction, Doesn't so I was not aware of yeah. any seasonal restrictions they've done in the past. Was this 
from some someone from National Grid or a consultant. This is their consultant. Um, the National Grid doesn't come. They yeah, just send right. a, they send one of their consultants right, in. Yeah. Right. Well, I guess you send them a, an email and say, okay. this is to remind you that nothing is to happen until da 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 da. Okay. <coughs> Will do. <coughs> do we have to move to adjourn this? Or uh, adjourn to continue? Continue. Well, it wasn't a, well, it's, it's not, not a really a hearing. hearing. Yeah. It's you know, just it's a request. So I don't think you have to continue it. Yeah, we don't have to do anything with it. But okay. uh, I'll make a motion <coughs> to close the hearing period of the meeting at 7.50 p.m. Second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. All right. So moving along, we heard from number seven. Uh, Anyone have any final questions for yeah. Rosemary? I'm curious on Sewell Street, just because I drive by there every day, and there's obvious, well, from what mm -hmm. I interpret, there's equipment there, and it looks like they have, I want to say, a portable scale, but I don't really know, or a truck washing thing. So clearly they're going to, they're planning to do a whole lot of stuff. Do we know what they're planning to do yet? I was told <clears throat> that it's on hold because the applicant has funding problems or some such thing. I don't, don't okay. quote me on that, but uh, you know, there's for some reason, whether it's funding or something that um, it, the project's on hold. So they're not completing the work that we had approved? No. <laughs> oh no, so, so what, were you what a, not here? No, I wasn't, I, I read the minutes and I know we asked them to amend it. What? Isn't that the one where you went out and talked to the guy? Was that the Sewell Street, right? No, no, no. This is 929 Salem. He's no, talking about He's talking about Sewell Street. Street. Okay. Yes. <laughs> let's, let's bring him up to speed, John. Uh, Sorry to bring the chairman up to speed. <laughs> you my, went out. My question was because there's, there's clearly equipment there. Yes. yes. Like I said, it's either a scale or a truck washing yes. or some sort of mechanism. I didn't drive up the he street. He came here and didn't feel that he needed to file with us. That oh, was the last yes. that right. I remember. We are consulting with town council <laughs> on this. Okay. So, um, so even though he has approval to do the work that we approved around the drainage yes. area, he's not doing Basically, anything. Yeah. <clears throat> right now, it seems to be all shut down right, for some right. reason. The work that was approved isn't what he's doing. I think that was the issue. Right. I mean, yeah. by the looks of the amount of equipment there. Yeah. So do we have concerns that there's, I don't, I'd have to look at a map, but that there's heavy equipment and is it within 100 feet? The last time we were out there, it was not. No, it was not. They, but had, they had no heavy equipment within the 100 feet because he had marked off everything that was the 100 foot buffer. Yes. Okay. But there may be piles of uncovered soil either next to the right. buffer or in the buffer zone. Yeah. Not sure. Right. Okay. So, but I mentioned that to town council. I mentioned our efforts to have them either do an amended notice of intent or a new one and <clears throat> also his refusal to do that DEP's notice that you know uh, they felt that he should too um, so I'm waiting to, uh, you know I updated the guy <clears throat> I think twice um, so I'm waiting to hear. The last update I provided to him was about a week ago. So I haven't heard anything back. But and that's from town council? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, you know, we're working on it. And the good thing is, is they're not doing any work on the site. So at least it's not getting worse than it, right. than it is, okay. which is a good deal. I mean, it's almost like they've been shut down. Like we it gave them a cease and desist. You know, they stopped <coughs> for some reason. I don't know the reason why. Okay, so that was an old business item. Any other old business items anybody have? I do have an old business item, an update to the Johnson's Pond work. So if you recall, in the spring, we filed two notice of intent. One was for the boat launch work 
there at the bottom for Veezy's uh, roadway, and the other one was for the weed removal project. So what's going on now is the weed removal project. I expect that they're going to be working on it for another uh, week and a half or so, and then they'll be done. Is, is the criteria to remove all of them or just the significant pathway? No. The only criteria is we paid for 23 days of weed removal and whatever okay. they can remove in 23 days. Okay. I estimate it's going to be about eight acres there of that whole inlet that comes right. in there. Okay. Um, and, you know, they're making pretty good progress with that. Yeah, they're yeah. taking the material and putting in composting uh, on the Center Street property, and then the town is going to move it, the drying out. And, then, and So I've checked on it a number of times. It's not yeah. within any jurisdictional areas. They have trucks out there that they're removing the stuff as they go, aren't they? I guess I just want to trucks truck. over there, yeah. The, like dump trucks or something like that. I saw a pickup for full the of trees. Trees? No. Well, like the, the, whatever. It was there's like there's green a dumpster stuff that I think is. Of lily pads. Of stuff over there. Yeah. The town. Is it somebody dumping? <laughs> for a week, the town was removing it with the town dump truck oh, several okay. times a day. That's what I saw. Okay. Yes, that's probably what you saw. Okay. But then after the first seven days, the town couldn't do it anymore because it was tying up too many resources. So the company, which is Solitude Lake Management, has brought a dumpster to the site. And so twice a day, the dumpster company comes, takes the dumpster to Center Street, empties it, and then brings it back. Gotcha. Okay. The um, machinery, the tractor that is there <coughs> is owned by... Kendall Construction, thanks to uh, a donation of that, and it's operated by Solitude, so we're covered under Solitude's contract with the town as far as responsibility and insurance. <coughs> when he is done, we're going to have to repair <coughs> the boat launch. Unfortunately, the timing didn't work out well and I had to spend the money back in June or I wouldn't have even done it until after this was over. Um, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to get the boat launch back to the way we wanted it, the way it was originally done, everything back there once he's finished, like I say, in about a week and a half or so. And that's it. So Any, you're not going to request a seasonal restriction is what you're talking No, about? we are not going to have a seasonal <laughs> restriction expect, waiver. Okay. Expect the work to be completed? Yes. Well, the work on the weed removal will be done in two weeks. Great. And then after that, I've got to go back and work on the, the other one for the boat launch to get that back to the way that it had been before the weed removal started. Great. Is that just moving rocks around? Yes, mostly. And they're... Like bowling ball size rocks. Yes. Well, also, Kendall came like and a brought a big <laughs> dump truck of riprap that's about six inch average side that the tractor's sitting on. Yeah. That's going to oh. go. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's it. So it's going well, and I think I'm really excited that that's that's going to open up the pond there for canoeing and kayaking. The swans <clears throat> are happy. Yeah. Yeah. We might see them come back again. No, they're already there. They were oh, there really? You saw them? Yep. Fantastic. <clears throat> All right. Anybody else have any old business items? You mentioned um, Salem Street. There's no activity there at all. No, so, right. I mean, there's nothing to talk right. about. Right. That's the one that I'm not sure what's going on, but there's some hole. I've heard some rumors, but yeah. I don't want to yeah, right. talk I about them. Yeah, right. I don't want to. Do we want to that. review the. Um, the hay bales and whatnot before sometime in October just to make sure if there's anything yes. that has to be repaired. Yes. In public. Well, under commissioner's time, I think that 
at our next meeting, we should put an agenda item to go over all the open projects for <coughs> the upcoming seasonal restriction. Because at that time, we'll only have, um, you know, about three weeks to contact people to tell them that they better not be doing any more work by November 1st. So I'd like to request that Rosemary put together a list of all the open projects that we know of and the status of them so we can review that at our next meeting. No, I already started. Oh, good. Good. Yeah. Good. Terrific. You don't have it done? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Uh, no, but I have I already started because I wanted to, um, I have a couple that have not applied for certificates of compliance, so I okay. want to send them letters <clears throat> to get them to close Finish everything it. out, yeah. and then the other ones, because I know they're done work, but, and then the other ones are, what Just other ones up. are yeah. still open. I have a question. Did they ever apply for their certificate at Stonebridge? Mm, two or at three who? or Stonebridge? Um, which ones? Oh, the pool in the oh, back. Nope, that's one of the ones. Okay. And then 23 stone bridges ongoing. They're building that new house there. No. Yeah, 23 stone bridge. Are they doing it now? They had it pretty much all up and everything oh, right. there when I was the last time I was out there. But I'll take another run out. Hmm. Well, that's a oh, that's one of the that's open ones. Right. But I'll I'll double check on four stone bridge. Thanks for reminding me. There's also two. Uh, 205 center, the one that they did the bridge. 206? Yeah. Across the street from Yeah, that one's still open. 201. Yeah. Right, 201. Yeah. Is it 201? No. 203. Yeah, 203. I think it's 203. I'm 202. Yeah. So it's 203. They're not doing any work. No. Check on I'm that because that may expire. R right, That's because that's been a couple of years. Yeah. yeah. Okay. If I'll it hasn't already post, expired. Sorry. I will double check on that too. <clears throat> All right, are we on to commissioner's time? Yes. Okay. Um, so, John, I know you have a thing to bring up about the. Uh, I'm just joking. I'm like you. <laughs> no, but yeah. put that in the record. Okay. Mike we'll, and John need to go check out uh, the abutters relating to the uh, potentially donated land. So on uh, King Street. King Street. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes, we need to do that. I'll send you an Before email. It snows. Yeah. Yes. Right. Exactly. <laughs> You don't want to be hiking through. No, there. no, no. We don't want to do it in the bad. Way. I'm around for so whenever you have yeah. some time, just no, let me know. You should be know. able to get it yep. done the next week or two. Which which line is this? This is um, it's on King Street beyond Center Street. It's going towards George towards Georgetown. There's a parcel that we think if we we took it the donation, we could come up with a pretty nice trail from property that we all already own, curves around through that and back into other property that we own. It was generously donated, but there's um, three, uh, I think it's three of the butters have a right of way across it. And so we're just going to go talk to them about our possible acquisition of the parcel. So it's just a question of doing our due diligence. Yes. <coughs> What's that? Do the parcels have a right away mm -hmm. on that one? Like an easement, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a weird... It's a, in, the, in between all of them. They're sort of around what, it. What, what kind of easement? Oh. They have a driveway that crosses it. Oh. That's how they get into their property. Oh, yeah. It's wow. subtle. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we'll, we'll do that and we'll follow up with them. Yeah. So, okay, that's it for that. Any other commissioner time item things you want on the agenda for next time? No, not on the agenda. Did oh. you get my email about VC insurance renewal? Yes. Okay. Yes. That's it. I'll check with um, Denise. I wasn't sure who signs that. I think it's her. She. Okay. Yeah. She should be the one who he's communicating with. Yeah. I'm sure she'll work that out. He was my personal insurance <laughs> agent. That's why he reached out to me. Yeah, right, oh. right. Me and I was the one that kind of... <clears throat> Yes, yes, thankfully. Do we, is the house rented yet? Uh, yes, they're moving in <coughs> on Saturday. Uh, fortunately, we only ended up being out uh, with uh, nobody living there for um, six weeks. Great. Well, that's not so bad it's at not all. bad. Yeah. And we were able to hire a woman to paint the inside of the whole place and clean the whole place. So it's really in very nice shape. 
So I'm happy about that. Plus, we were able to go up on the rent, too. So oh, good. Are we, it's um, a win-win. Having goats to go oh, vacation yes. on yes. the property? Goats to go <laughs> is bringing the sheep and or goats to VZ Park any day now. They're going to show up. They'll be there until somewhere around the beginning of October. <clears throat> so maybe like three weeks or so. Great. Yeah. So that's good. Rustic. Any other any other uh, commissioner? Uh, Does everybody items? know about the town wide yacht sale? Oh yes. Yeah. The town wide <laughs> wide yacht sale. No. Oh God. <laughs> when is Saturday. that? Saturday, oh, eight to three. And it's supposed to be sunny. Is it? Fantastic. Yeah. That's <laughs> marvelous. How do you find out about that? Yes, <laughs> Sean. <laughs> <Osborne. laughs> what? Yeah, but you have drive, to go drive to the, 50 feet and you'll see a No, sign. but you have to go to the town clerk to get a map of all the... Oh, you do? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you don't, you have, don't have to. to. I thought they were giving it out. 50 cents. <laughs> At, um, really? Yeah. yeah. No, it's it's charging 50 cents. It's charging for it. Well, I'm participating. So. Oh, well, you're, that's why you brought it up. <laughs> oh. Would you like... Uh, a, so Did you tell us again about it? I missed it. To see what you have. Yes. <coughs> Electronics. Do you have lots of good stuff? I don't know. I'm not done yet, so I don't know. <laughs> All right. Is it time for me started. to move to adjourn? I'd say we move to 10. How about item 10? 10. Oh, I was oh, just yeah. on a note before we adjourn ah, so that our next started. meeting is October 10th, Wednesday at 7 p.m. Also, want to encourage everybody to... Sign up, go on the MACC website and sign up for some of the web courses because they're the easiest ones to take. I am down to two more. I only need to take two more and I will be certified. I'm hoping to get that done by May because the one that I need isn't offered until May. But if you went to the uh, MACC fall conference, you could even do two in that one day. And I want you to know also that here's my, an example of my devotion to this topic. I drove out all by myself to Greenfield oh my God. to take a course. Did you get yes. a Yankee candle while you were out there? No, I didn't. I should have. Really? Yeah. That's Northfield. Uh, <laughs> hey, Mike. Yes. I got a notice today that um, in Georgetown from the, the post office, to the Roman uh, to the uh, Foxford line, that road, they're going to tear it all up. I see. So anybody goes to Boston that way. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. Route 97. Oh yeah. Oh, they're they're going to be nice. working on that. Did they just the do that? Weeks. No. Yeah. They they had a big detour there a couple of years ago. Well, yeah. they they just, they just had a notice on. Mm. Tonight. Well, that's good to yeah. know. First thing is what? There's strip Tom Arnold. Yeah. That's the way you go. Yeah. No, it's going to make it. Either way, even if All you go straight or turn, it's residents. Still sucks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they didn't tell any Groveland residents <laughs> they were doing that, though. All right, yeah. motion yeah. to adjourn. Yeah, they had a little bit of All right. So we have a motion to adjourn by Terry. Second by Heather. Thank you. All in favor? Prompt. Aye. 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 See you on Everybody October 10th. Uh, <laughs> Julie, I will not be here in October. Tell us where you're going, because that's the cool part. Well, actually, I'm going to Germany next week, too. Or